Didn't I tell you to be home before dark? I just lost track of time. An incredible artist named Kashiro created Alita Battle Angel 30 years ago. Kashiro's creation is something that inspires dreams. I saw it as this great female empowerment story. It's an empowerment of, of her internal psychological and spiritual character, not just her physical strength. Does it bother you that I'm not completely human? You are the most human person I have ever met. You can identify with this girl's journey because of who she is and the humanity that she represents. And that's what Jim taps into in his female protagonist and in Alita, is the universality of what the character is going through. That you can watch this and completely identify with it and feel like it's your journey as well, even though it's a, a cyborg girl from Mars. So that's the magic of Jim. <laughs> Doc found you in the scrapyard. So you must be from up there. And I'm just an insignificant girl. Yeah, that's what they want you to think. Alita Battle Angel is about a girl who is plopped into the world not knowing who she is, and she goes on a journey of self-discovery and discovers that she's not an insignificant girl at all. She is someone quite extraordinary. It's all about this. If you can make the audience believe that that character is real in a tight close-up, and frankly, what are the only people that I trusted to be able to do that? She's just realer than real. I love it. I'm not expecting to be able to do that.